Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to Be In The Change. I'm going to get started by reciting my inspiration. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your plain small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Maryam Williamson. I'd like to say thank you for everybody who's watching and welcome to everybody who's watching me for the first time and welcome back to everybody who has seen me before and thank you so much. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I was talking last week in my video about um, how it's, it's never too late. It's never too late to find out who you are. It's never too late to start listening to your inner voice and your intuition. And, um, you know, it's taken me until I'm 48 years old to be comfortable in my own skin and um, and be able to talk about things that have happened to me and how I'm getting to be how I am now and what happened in order to make me this way. And um, last week I was talking about how I never wanted to rock the boat. I never wanna be the first one to cause um, you know, a stir or be a problem or get known as you know the red flag. But for me, not speaking up for myself has cost me so much. Um, you know, besides my soul, I am just being able now to be able to speak up for myself more and more. And you guys got to witness some of it with my New Year's resolution last year. I said I broke up with fear, I broke up with shame, and I broke up with guilt, and it never broke up with me. But a lot of times when I'm not able to listen to my intuition, I have to go back and do things over or it creates more work on the tail end than if I would have stopped it in the beginning when I had a sense that something wasn't right. A lot of times I get so excited when I get an idea and I want to do something. I'm like all in 100%. I will dive into the pool and then see like, oh shit, there's no water. So um, that's one thing about myself and my behavior is I always, when I get an idea and I wanna do something, I get so excited about it, I wanna do it right away. And a lot of times the fear sets in, even if I get a red flag of what if there's nothing better? What if, I don't take this opportunity right this second that another one's not going to come along. And um, I did it a couple years ago when I was writing my song. Like I knew the person that I ended up choosing wasn't right. And I got into fear immediately and thought, I don't know anybody else. Who else is going to help me? And, um, and, there was somebody amazing that was able to help me because I had to go back and have it redone. And, um, you know, that's what happens a lot of times when I don't listen to my inner voice and my intuition. And um, I, I love um, oracle cards. I love tarot cards. I love all that stuff. I've always loved it. And now I'm really getting into owning that I love that stuff. It just, it makes me so happy. I love doing it. And um, somebody was saying to me, 
last week that I I should teach. I should teach a class on it because there's nothing like that around. And I really wish there was somebody here to teach me. And um, instead of waiting for somebody to show up, what I'm realizing is my gift is I need to show up and I need to create what isn't available, what I would like to see, instead of waiting for somebody else to do it, that I need to do it. And um, I had a situation come up, this woman suggested that I teach this and I got so excited and a place agreed to have me do it there and it's not the right place for me and I know it. So what I was able to do was call and say thank you but no thank you. I meant to do this, but this is not the right space for me to do it at. And um, years ago, I would have went and did it there anyway, even though I have a gut feeling that that's not the right spot. So I'm gonna have to wait and wait for the right space to show up for me to be able to do this at. And being patient is not one of my strong points. You know, I want everything yesterday. And, um, you know, trusting that God has a plan for me, and even if I don't know what it is, it's even a million times better than I can even envision it. And trusting that is really hard. So what I need to do as I'm waiting for the right place to show up, and I just don't expect it to show up, I, I have to look, but I have to do things that bring me joy in order to distract me. So I at least know what brings me joy now. And being around people brings me joy. Being able to country line dance brings me joy. Um, Listening to other people and what they're doing in their life brings me joy. And I I never knew that about myself, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep myself busy to not think about it because I will obsess about it until my brain hurts. So um, I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start creating what I wish existed. And actually, I did that with these videos. I really wish there was somebody that had an instruction manual and there wasn't one. So this is Mayan. And um, thanks to everybody who's joining me. And I I'm so grateful that you guys are even watching this and um, stay tuned and I'll see you all next week.